Hello, hello, YouTube family. Welcome back to another practice with me, Kat Meffern. Now, obviously, I don't have my headset today. I'm traveling, but I really wanted to film a little practice for you anyway. So hopefully the sound is bearable for you. Um, and we're really going to enjoy this practice together. It's going to be a fun one, a little bit powerful, a little bit energizing, working our way around the mat. If you're not already a Soul Sanctuary member, then now is the time to join me. We've got so much good stuff. I mean, we've got over 600 videos on the Soul Sanctuary. So that is reason enough to come and join us yoga, meditation, philosophy, sound therapy, free movement, workouts, you name it, we've got it. And you can get involved with a seven day free trial if you just sign up via the link in the description box. So hopefully after this practice, you'll love it so much, you're gonna wanna come and join me. But for now, we're gonna get on into our flow. Everybody coming down to this comfortable seated position. Just closing down the eyes for a moment as we ground here, rolling the shoulders back, sit tall, crown of the head reaches all the way up to the sky. And just checking in with the breath here. Nothing to fix, nothing to force. Just being here in the natural flow of your breath. Maybe setting an intention for your practice today. And dropping the chin down to the chest, starting to take a few half neck circles here, right ear around to the right shoulder, and down through center over to the left side. And just keep working your way through side to side, spending a little bit longer in any places that feel like they need to be nurtured, feel like they need to be nourished. And then just coming back to neutral. You're gonna take an inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, cactus, open the arms, really strong in these arms. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, draw those elbows down, cactus. Inhale, up. Exhale, cactus. One more time, inhale, up. Exhale, cactus, holding here in your cactus, active twist around to the right. And holding here, breathing in, breathing out. Coming all the way through center and taking it over to the left, breathing in and breathing out. And then coming all the way through center, release the hands down, rolling over onto all fours and just taking a few breaths just to intuitively move through the spine here. So a little bit of cat cow, maybe some barrel rolls, maybe shifting forwards and backwards. Like I said, just intuitively checking in, asking yourself, what is it that I need in this moment? And then you're going to drop the, the bottom back to the heels, keeping the toes tucked under a little bit of bent arm strength here as we shift ourselves from this modified child's pose forwards into a chaturanga. Now you, you can keep the knees down like I just did there or different variation. You inhale forwards, lift the knees off, come through to your chaturanga and then push it back. We're going to go for five of these together. We inhale forwards for one. Take it back. Inhale for two and back for three. Take it back for four. Take it back. Last one for five and take it back. Come to sit back on the heels. Just rest those arms. Take a shoulder roll going back and then just shake out through the hands. Maybe even <laughs> bring these elbows out to the side. <sighs> Just letting go a little bit here. And then gonna come into a downward facing dog, tucking under the toes. 
bottom lifts high up to the sky. Any movements that may feel good in your downward facing dog, it could be a pedal out through the feet, a shake, a nod of the head, a little swish of the hips, a swish of the shoulders, whatever feels good for you here. Hmm. Grounding into the left foot, take an inhale, sweep the right leg up to the sky. Either just hold here with the hip open, or you're going to see if you can challenge yourself with a straight leg. Shift the weight forwards towards plank. Tap the toe down to the side. Take it all the way back. And go for two more of those. On the right side, we take it back. Last one. All the way back. Take an inhale. Exhale, step the right foot through between the hands. Drop the back knee down. We're going to come to find Kali Mudra with the hands, or you can just bring the hands together and hook the thumbs. Reach the heart space up and open. A little baby heart opener here, tiny little back bend. And just holding with control, not collapsing, holding. You're then going to ground into that front foot. You're going to push yourself forward to here to a warrior three, trying to keep the arms as they are. If that is too intense, you're just going to bring the hands to the heart space, okay? So you've got options here, either arms forwards or arms to the heart space. Holding wherever you are. You're going to come all the way up to standing. Left leg is behind you. It's still lifted. Active dancer with the arms up to the sky. So you're trying to send that back heel, that left foot, all the way up to the sky. Hold. <laughs> Little mandala now as we take a big step back. Sweep yourself through Prasarita Padatanasana. To the back of the mat, place the hands down. Heel toe the left foot out. Reach the left arm up, cactus that arm. Maybe you come up onto the toes of that left foot. A nice open lizard here. Taking a couple of breaths. And then releasing that left hand down. Step it all the way back to your plank position and work your way through any variation of a vinyasa, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Hmm. And landing back here. We're going to sweep the right leg up to the sky again, so we're going to go round in circles. So we're doing right and right. This time, rather than straight leg down, you're going to shift the weight forwards, right knee comes to right elbow. Take it back up to the sky. Right knee comes to right elbow again. Take it back up to the sky. Right knee comes to right elbow. And then we step right foot down between the hands. Drop the back knee down. That low lunge again. Sweep the arms up. Now this time you can either stay exactly as you are or you're going to go for five lifts of that back leg. So straightening that back leg for one, Bend down for two, down, three, down, four, down, five, and down. From here, we push forwards, finding that warrior three. Like I said, arms can be out or just to make it a little bit more bearable, we bring the hands in. Amazing. Holding here, we're going to dip for five through that right leg for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Reach the hands all the way up to the sky. Left foot reaches all the way up as well. Heart opener, hamstrings, glutes, super engaged. Staying connected to that breath. And then we take a big step back, sweep it all the way down and around to the front of the mat. The left side lizard opens up again, cactusing the arms, gazing up to the sky. Holding here. And then we're going to unravel, left hand down, step it all the way back through your plank position and take your vinyasa however 
feels right for you. It has to feel right for you. Taking the downward facing dog and just finding a breath. Ah. Child's pose always being an option, just coming into kneeling to take a pause, always an option. So we're gonna take that mandala to the second side. We're gonna sweep the left leg all the way up and then straight leg, tap it down. Inhale up, exhale, tap the toes down. Remember, this is just an option. You can stay all the way up, tap it down for the last time. Take it up. And then we step that left foot now through between the hands, drop the back knee down, lift the chest. On this first one, we're just holding here. So energy drawing upwards from the earth to the sky. Super strong through the lower body as we reach tall. And then we power through that front leg, finding warrior three. Same applies, either hands to the heart space or taking them out long. You're then gonna reach the arms all the way up, active dancer. Sole of the right foot reaching up to the sky, take your gaze with it. Oh, it's a fiery one, <laughs> holding here. And then with a big step back, we sweep it all the way through and around. Left hand comes down. We open the right arm up for a little open cactus lizard at the back of the mat. Mm. Another breath here. And then placing right hand down. Step it all the way back through your plank and flow your way through, meeting back in that downward facing dog. Amazing. Ah, and we take the left side circle again, just to complete the mandala. Left leg sweeps up, this time it's bent knee to the elbow. So left knee to the left elbow. Take it back. Left knee to left elbow. Take it back. Left knee to left elbow. And then this time we step that left foot through, drop the back knee down, reach the arms up. So we're gonna have the option of those five lifts. You don't have to take them, you can just stay here. We're gonna lift for one, two, three, four, and five. Amazing, drop the back knee down, push forwards, finding your warrior three, you've got this. And we go for our five dips here. So five, four, three, two, and one. Arms reach all the way up to the sky, sole of the right foot, heading up there to lift the heart space. This may not feel like a big move, but it is very active. One more breath. And then we take that big step back, sweep it all the way down and around. Heel toe that right foot out. Open lizard with that beautiful cactus arm. Taking a breath here. And then Placing the right hand down, step it all the way back through plank, take an inhale, exhale, vinyasa in any way that feels good for you. Taking it back through your downward facing dog. And maybe just finding a releasing breath. Ah. We're gonna walk the feet all the way into the hands. Take an inhale, lift and lengthen through the chest, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale those hands down through heart center. So we're gonna to come to find a little dancer balance, this time not active, well, yes, always active, but not in the same way. We're gonna be taking hold of the right hand around the right ankle. Think about grounding, finding your balance first. Find your drishti, your gazing point. As you lift the leg up behind you, then reaching forwards. Keeping the heart space open. The hip is open here. Maybe you even find a smile. 
two more breaths. If you fall, if you wobble, it is okay. <laughs> it's part of the journey. From here, we're gonna keep that right leg lifted as we bring it round in front. Wrap the right leg over the left leg, finding eagle. And then you're gonna take the left arm over the top. Doesn't matter if you don't get that second hook. Make it nice and compact here. Finding that connection to breath. Unraveling the legs, but keeping the arms as they are. Right leg goes out behind you, warrior three. Five dips for one, two, three, four, Five, place the hands down, step the right foot, then the left foot back. Vinyasa, meeting back in your downward facing dog, the option to just take a moment, kneeling or in a child's pose as always. <laughs> and when you get to your downward facing dog, you're gonna make your way to the top of the mat again. Take an inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky and exhale those hands down by the side of you. Shifting the weight over into the right side now. We're gonna take hold right, it's left hand with left ankle. We start to reach the left leg out behind as the right arm comes out, finding that gazing point, finding the control here. But even when you don't have the control, even when you wobble, when you fall, take a moment, reset, and come back into it. The pause makes all the difference. One more breath. You're lifting the chest, wrapping that left leg on top of the right as you then wrap it all the way round if you can. Right arm's coming on top this time, finding your eagle. Take an inhale here. Exhale, make it nice and compact. Mm -hmm. One more breath. And then we keep the arms exactly where they are, but we sweep that left leg back, finding warrior three. We dip for five, four, three, two, and one. Release the hand, step it all the way back. Flow your way through your little vinyasa, making your way back to your downward facing dog. From here, stepping the left foot between the hands, pivot all the way around to the center of the mat, lift the chest. We're gonna drop down into goddess. So the feet going out into the diagonals. We drop it down, hands can come to the thighs. And you can just have a little shift here. Little play around side to side. You could drop a shoulder down and then the other. Staying in that goddess, take an inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, cactus, draw the elbows down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, up. Exhale, cactus, last time, inhale up. Exhale, draw them down, place the hands down. You're gonna heel toe the feet in slightly. We're gonna bring ourselves down to seated, but you may wanna take Tidibhasana to get there or somewhere in between. So from here, you would slide the hands underneath the legs, sit back on those bent elbows, Hug into the shoulders with the knees. And as you lift the chest, you see if the feet come off, you can cross them in front of you, or you can take them out straight, like I said, for Titi Basana. So finding the place that's gonna work for you, or just gracefully plonk your bottom down to the earth. Final, final little bit here, little bit of juicy power. If you have a block, you can place it down in front of you, but you don't need it. You're gonna place the hands either side of you, or you can place the fingertips by the ears, and we're gonna be moving right over. So the right's gonna go five times, and then the left's gonna go five times. We go for one, two, three, 
four and five. We go straight to the left for one, two, three, four, and five. Amazing. Have a little wiggle with those legs. Take yourself maybe into a slightly wider straddle if that feels good for you. Upavista Konasana. Externally rotate from the hips. Walk the hands forwards. Close down the eyes and take a couple of very well-earned, big releasing breaths here. And again, breathing in. Just having a few extra moments to breathe here. And then on your next inhale, lifting all the way up. You're gonna inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. So you're still in the straddle. You can be sat up on your block if you want. Take hold of the right wrist with the left hand, taking a side bend over to the left, feeling the breath open through the right side body. And then bringing it back through center. Switching sides, right hand goes around the left wrist, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Over to that right side, the breath opens into the left side body. And then coming all the way back through center, releasing those hands down. You're going to bring one leg, then the other leg in, finding a cross leg position. Grounding down into the earth, rolling the shoulders back. And just place the backs of the hands down on the knees, palms of the hands facing upwards, surrendering to your own power, your own energy, what you brought to this space, what you brought to this practice, really just opening up and believing in your own power, believing in your confidence, your self-belief. Having that energy tingle all the way around your body. I am powerful, saying that to yourself. I am powerful. And we'll just take a nice big releasing breath here together, inhale. Thank you all so much for practicing with me. I look forward to practicing with you again very, very soon. YouTube family, YouTube friends, like I said, now is the time to join Soul Sanctuary. Join our community of incredible people, thousands of people all around the world doing their practice, but sharing it together. Um, I really hope you join us. Sign up for the seven day free trial, like I said, in the description box, or there's a link on screen now. Head over to Soul Sanctuary, check it out, download the app and get involved. I look forward to practicing with you again soon. Bye-bye.